Oh, this is so cursed. Um, w welcome back to Sheep in the Woods. I am currently testing a bunch of various things about this, but I will have a whole separate video on this whole sheep curse that we have going on coming out in the next couple of days. Um, positive news, it doesn't seem like our world is corrupted. Negative or positive, depending on how you view it, views. You remember how in that lush swamp we found two pink sheep? <sighs> we should have looked around a little bit more. Because when I started my little testing, in a way, these two pink sheep always, they, they felt suspicious to me. So when I started my testing and I made a copy of our seed, first went to these two sheep. Well, I realized those two sheep are multiple pink sheep. Just like in this biome, every sheep spawn has a pink sheep. And I don't think we had anything like that we missed maybe in that cherry blossom groove. There was one pink sheep, yes. But we went through it to collect flowers and I didn't see any other pink sheep. And honestly, I am too scared to check. That cherry blossom groove gets to stay the way it is. We, on the other hand, are going to go home. Because we only have a single food item left. And I need to mentally recover from this. This... I hope there is some explanation for this. So... It seems... Like, everyone could replicate this, but we have to really make sure because my boyfriend uh, didn't have Life in the Woods installed anymore. I want to rename this pink sheep everywhere. <laughs> boyfriend didn't have Life in the Woods installed, and installing it these days is a little bit tricky, and just because it's already a little bit of late, and, you know, I didn't want him to be s uh, struggling with this for ages because at first I tried, but... I'm no technical genius, <laughs> so I w he took over and it didn't kind of work, so it seemed like there was some kind of problem with the mods, even though I just sent him the mod download folder that you have on the Life in the Woods Discord. So yeah, I ended up just sending him my mod folder and also my config folder. Here is of course the chair. Oh, talking about that before I forget, because um, when I showed how I have no idea how these settings work. Um, I think it was mob types creature. I accidentally... Uh, no, 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 that's not what I mean to do. Uh, not by entity... Uh, cheap edit. I... Wait... The back to 12, didn't I? Okay, because I set it to... 4. Accidentally. Unless I like had clicked on one of these. I don't know if I have, but um just to make sure if we go on Yeah, I think this should technically be fine. Um wait, yeah, even on extra bombs tundra. Good, 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 good. Um I hope I, somewhere in the depths of the internet, some Minecraft nerd has a explanation for this, because I don't, and I wish I would. Oh, this, is, this looks wrong, where's our food? Okay, time to return home. <sighs> uh, home. Actually, uh, we can't use it now because... I should have looked if the warp stone that randomly disappeared is still on there, actually. But... Okay, uh, those extra shears... Uh... First of all, we're gonna sleep in our own bed, so our spawn point is set again. Just in case anything happens. I love how I'm always paranoid about that and we've gone all this time without dying. The one time we will die is going to be when we don't have a bed with us. 
But that is why we have an extra warp stone in a chest at our spawn point. We are always prepared. Uh, da, 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 da. All the shears, yeah, they just go in there. Um, Atlas goes back in there. The boats go out. And we actually do fill up a little bit on iron and wood. Not worry, this is not going to be a whole organizing episode. The penguin named Hax can go back there for now. <sighs> and everything that we didn't use goes back. Okay. So, yeah, we have an incredible seed at our hands, I assume. Like I said, give, give me like one, two more days to really test things before I go incredibly public, like, hello, I have a seed that spawns pink sheep everywhere, and then turns out I sleepwalk to my PC in the middle of one night. I don't even know how I would manage to do that, because I would probably break my legs beforehand. I am very glad that I'm not a sleepwalker. <laughs> Either way, I would have went to my PC and... Uh, installed something to change pink sheep spawn rates? I, I don't know. But just making sure that that didn't happen after all. Maybe that's how I broke my collarbone. Maybe it was never the dog. No. Um. Can you guys please stop stealing my flowers? I mean, okay, we lost the waystone. You're a lucky one. This reminds me to wait. Did I put it in there or did I put it back? This is where we put all our Halloween decor. If we don't, we can't reach our attic. We put it in here next to our bubble gum machine and an unfortunate event that we have witnessed. <laughs> we have so much history in this world. Um. We're going to take these out for now, and also these. I will just take everything out right away. We close that back up. Nothing exists there. Nothing at all. Um, oh, we can't place them like that. That's sad. Can we? I don't know how we did it last year. It's okay if we switch it up a little bit, I guess. Put that there. We put the candy corn there. I have never had candy corn, by the way. Americans tend to be a little bit confused by that, but my German self, I've never noticed that really. Like, here's the thing, in Germany you get Halloween candy a week before Halloween, pretty much. <laughs> and, oh, I love them! Yeah, it's, it's not as celebrated, which is a little bit of a crime in all honesty. Uh, it's, oh, he's so cute! What a cute little guy! We'll put him here. And, and a basic jack-o'-lantern. We put it there. Or maybe this one we'll put like this. This chiseled one we put there. We also still have this pumpkin. <laughs> this this is just I love this. I love everything about this. Perfect. And I think we put this inside last time. Yeah, I think it's better there. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, want some pumpkins? What do you mean we can't place them there? Oh, sometimes I hate this mod. Ball. <laughs> um, was that my PC or was that the game lagging? I don't know. I think this was here. <laughs> uh. The little spider candle. Can we not put that? Ah, uh, because we. Oh, it's so cute though. Oh, kids, I took a shower earlier and then I realized there was a spider in the shower. <sighs> I have been vegan for years. I have been vegetarian many years before that. I really try not to harm animals, but um. It started moving, okay? It started moving towards me. If it would have stayed in that corner, then maybe it could have lived, but it was met with the force of water. 
just... I mean, maybe don't pull these perverted moves on me and you could survive. What if would have been so easy? Could be... Now we can place them. Where did we place all these? I guess we could put this cute little... Oh, this... The bottom right corner pop-up is so mad there. That's... That's a cute little... Can we not turn it on somehow? What a shame. And then this little pumpkin trio. Or maybe we put that actually here. I mean, it's going to be a little bit in the way. I'm going to run over it every single time we're doing something. But certain things have certain consequences. We do also need new food. Uh, I shouldn't be running around so much for just various things. But I do also want... Well, five diamonds! Hey! We, we don't complain about free diamonds here. Or precious uh, final things. Catch being the wrong one. Uh, oh, this piece of bread. Uh, this also comes in here. This goes in here. These two. The iron can also go in here. I think that is it for our office. Uh, do, 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 do. A lot of obsidian. Oh, oh god, we have, we have so much obsidian still. Absolutely incredible. Uh, okay, I was about to be like, what? Only 13 stacks? Why do we have 16 of that one type? But now it is 104. That is very good. Um, I want to check on our little sapling, Pam's Harvest Craft sapling thingy. Do you think? Okay, that scared me. Um, yeah, the thing is we don't have it for everything here, so... I did see the photo of the layout of how everything is supposed to look actually um three days ago but so I was scrolling through pictures while waiting for food so I'm not going to put that in there just yet <laughs> I want it to be at the right spot if we do but on the other hand we do have the actual fruit organized the plum ah we still don't have maple in here I'm not sure. I don't think it goes in there. They just gave this the most suspicious look that I've ever given anyone or anything. <laughs> oh no, how dare my own setup be unorganized. Why did we get so much sorrel? What? So first we put the basics away. Oh! A full stack of spinach. Sh spinach. Sure thing. But we also have... Beautiful. This is beautiful. With this we can now start our plant mega pack farm that we have prepared quite a while ago actually. Ah, if we wouldn't have placed the torch I wouldn't have found the door. Uh, <clears throat> One further down. <laughs> yeah, this is where everything's going to go. I was prepared a very long time in advance, but that is alright. I like being prepared and I wish we could really just work on our food storage here. But I am also considering to move it a little bit, so... I don't know, like, it's a bit of a struggle, but on the other hand, it works. How many times are we, as a person, trying to do a vegan playthrough, going to run around with raw or cooked meat? I think those times can be counted on mm, a few hands. Let, again, rem remember, you can't find... This is a mess. You can find these as loot in structures. And occasionally we do have animals eating themselves in front of us. I think I meant to really just move things a little bit. Ah. Did I mean to... I made three? I think I meant to have a little bit more space in between every drawer. That's why we had the sticky tape with us when we came back. But what I also meant to say is we are just going to end up having our main foods there probably. Because let's be honest, it's a lighted meal. Kind of or standard. I love it, personally. 
rather easy to make, you don't need a million things compared to a lot of other good recipes, and I like it! You know, I would personally eat that. I mean, maybe not every 10 minutes like we do, I think I would explode after the second one, but, um, you know, it does look good. Uh, what do we continue with? <laughs> Technically, we should make food, but I think after having a little bit of a shock, this this is the true core of this let's play organizing. No, not really, but usually I do organize in time lapses. The flowers will be organized in the time lapse because we we got a few too many there, but you know the little things here and there they don't hurt to be shown and maybe this can give inspiration to other people playing life in the woods or playing with the carpenters mod in Pam's Harvest Craft because no carpenters storage stores ah <sighs> it's been a long day okay we have peanuts and cranberries uh no peanuts wait there we go <laughs> and Okay, <laughs> and then the basic green seeds, of course. This is I love having storage for everything here. It's white. What do you mean it's night again? Technically, we should go hunt Enderman. Yes, but you know, a little bit of relaxing, enjoying, or freshly decorated house before blowing ourselves up. Probably worth it. At least we do have decorated now. But, I do want to check again, is there like anything that we could use to expand our little collection? We do have the materials. Uh, could of course just place a gravestone in front of our house. Um, maybe a little cauldron? I'm afraid this might be too big. We'll test it out, why not? We, we do not care about material costs really i don't know why i check them a snow globe i've never looked at that before i think this is so such a dangerous thing for me to do i you, you shouldn't allow me to open this okay real quick no this isn't big we literally have it in the mountain cabin we'll put it there it's going to be suspicious and why didn't you put it in the corner Wonder what you're hiding there. Um, the snow globe. Oh, I love this guy. He is so cute. Do we have space somewhere here? We'll, we'll put him on our desk for now. <laughs> and then we'll probably forget about him. And one day in summer, I'll rediscover him. And maybe then he's gonna get a new, new place to live in. Food. Yes. That is a wonderful thing. After all those pink sheep, to ah, that doesn't this seem tempting, kids? <laughs> Could make spaghetti. Actually, I wouldn't mind spaghetti right now, and it's 11.10 at night. Eh, I'm an old person. We've never made spaghetti here before. Uh, we do need dough and butter. We can do that, though. But uh, the thing is... Newer versions of Pam's Harvest Craft, you have it very easy to get fresh water. You can just get a water bucket, put it in your inventory, get the empty, empty bucket back, and you have 16 water, I believe. In this version, you use your water and you get one fresh water back equals zero, zero progress. We could just make some hot dogs. We did make hot dogs earlier, I think, when we first started the Let's Play. We had them for a little bit. So, ju just something so we can run around a little bit, organize, be happy. You know what? Look at those few extra birds in this. This looks like cute little spark stuff. Oh, I lost this game. I missed being home. You know, I've, I feel like I've gotten decently back into it now. But we're home. Basically, we went traveling right after I started playing again. I, I haven't seen this in forever. Hot dogs needed a pot. Okay, we can do that. Wonderful. Could we in theory, if we make boiled eggs, what could... 
Uh, meat pickle. <laughs> this is what I mean with why I like the delighted meal. It's it it's very easy to make. <laughs> Actually, something is on our meal plan in a little bitch. Do we need to use coconut milk? We don't have coconut trees. Uh, I think it is time that we do organize for trees. <clears throat> Soon there, the fruit trees, so we can plant them and get a decent supply on everything. Um, right now this is just really getting organized back at home. I do need to put a little bit more wood into a backpack because you never know when you need a bunch of it to trap more pink sheep than you've ever seen in your entire 13 years of playtime combined. <laughs> like... Uh, uh, okay, now we, we have our emotional comfort hot dogs. Also good. We do have... We actually use the skeletons to drop down a lot easier usually. But it's also something that loves to happen also. I like keeping the bows to make dispensers. But it's become an ugly habit. <laughs> this is my little my piles of shame there. In, in case anyone isn't up to date, this is where our fruit tree farm is going to go. We have enough space for every single fruit tree. And I plan on if we don't have at least honestly five fruits per tree, we'll cut them down again. And just bone meal and rinse and repeat many, many times. I mean if we need it, we can just use compost and bone meal and everything. We have a skeleton farm, we have a bamboo farm right there that I'll go to in a second to show. We're fine on that, but you know, it's also just nice to be able to leave this and check it out every like 20 episodes or so and harvest things and then I want to get more than just two. Two coconuts that we need a lot if we want to make curry. Here, we have our green stuff. Um, I've been meaning to make all the walls out of marble, that is something that has yet to happen, but yeah, there we have more green stuff. It's a little cactus farm, which is, just, you know, it's slow, but when do we really need green dye? And here we put all our bamboo in there to get compost. I don't really know why I did this, because we already had the skeleton farm, but now we do. <laughs> Now we have it. Now it's there. I also really, really, really want to work on our basement soon. But I also want to finish pro- I mean, the basement is a project, let's be honest. <sighs> yeah, many, many things. Um, I will have to look up how I tend to organize my plant megapack farms. And then we are going to work on that in the next episode. And also definitely the fruit trees. In between maybe finding solutions for the hacking sheep between now that i remember did our broken atlas not broken atlas this way stone disappeared also i misspelled dillard the there i'm fully aware um i'm actually terrified to ever teleport to that i don't think we'll ever do one day we might, that day is not the day. Um, yeah, we decorated. Very, very happy about that. To actually look at this at night, I guess. But we'll have some time. We'll leave this up even for a bit after Halloween. Um, so cute. We have a pretty lighthouse. Eh, pretty lighthouse. Secret guard. Ah, oh, so many projects. Need to stop traveling and fix my stuff here. But we are now going to start the time-lapse part of this, where I just organize, probably make some more delighted meals, let's be honest, get the farm, do a bunch of little things that need to be done. And from present Kiwi, I'm just going to say goodbye for now. I hope we find a solution to the sheep. And uh, yeah, thank you for being here. I love you. Stay hydrated and um, take some candy and enjoy the little 
organizing grind that's about to happen. Okay, it actually turns out we didn't have the loamy grass blocks before, so I don't know how to reorganize this now, but yay, we really need to completely reorganize this whole thing, let's be honest. One day, one day.